How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet. And this week, I'm bringing to you the Platinum Bayview. The Bayview is a one-of-a-kind park model tiny home. It has a six-foot front deck, it has a double loft, and it has windows galore so you can get that nice view of the bay in your Bayview. So you'll see right here, it starts in the living area. We've got a space right here that you can put a couch, a couple of chairs if you'd like. We've got windows around as well as clerestory windows up top bringing in the natural light. We also, right across from that, went with the built-in entertainment center. In the entertainment center, we have a LED fireplace, actually puts off heat, electric fireplace, and windows here as well that lead into the built-in hutch. You'll see an abundance of countertop space and storage space. This is for knickknacks, patty wax, crap, all that can fit up in here. So you see you got drawers down below, cabinets up top, we even finish them out up top so you can put some nice decorations up there as we have done here. And it wraps all the way around so you can put blenders, Keurigs, whatever you like, you can make it right here. And then right across from that you have your main kitchen area. So you have the stainless steel farm sink that we went with here. We've got the window right above, We've got uh, cabinets on each side and we went with the black appliances uh, in this model. We got these side-by-side -side fridge in the door so you don't have to do any mini fridges in here. Get your full-size meats and your full-size popsicles and all that. You can fit right here in this refrigerator. And then right across, you got your bathroom. We've got a step-in shower here with the sliding glass door that closes off. So it's perfect. It's even elevated up top so you get a little bit extra space for the taller people out there in the world. And then you come right around here and you will see that we've got the spot for your stackable washing machine and dryer. Conveniently placed here, out of sight, out of mind. And then a pocket door that closes off, that is stained, should I add, that leads right into your master. And you come back here in the master, you'll see, again, we went with a bay window in this bay view to give you an extra space that you can put a nice little chair right here, put a little vanity if you want to get ready for you women out there or your men, you know what I'm saying? Don't You got to do your thing too. So you got windows right here that you can look out onto the property. You also got sliding barn doors stained as well. And in between right here, we got the three drawer cabinet space. And right above that, you got the spot for your TV. And then of course the barn door over here to the side as well. And then with this space that you can fit up to a queen size bed, even a king, if you want to make it a designated bedroom, you can do it right here with the king size bed. We have extra space in the double loft. So you guys follow me up and I'll show you that as well. And now that we're up in the loft of the Bayview, I'm going to show you the options that you have when you add a double loft to a park model like the Bayview itself. And you'll see here, we've got a loft on this side with the designated bed area that you can place right here and then right across from that you have tons of open space that you can place with another bed, you can place bean bags, chairs, whatever you like, a small desk, all that is possible. But the cool thing is you can make the double loft as you wish. Like right here we have it open, straight flow from one side to the next with the open rails. We can also close off one side if you like. We can sheetrock this all the way up so we can have a private suite here up, the, up top and then the open suite there as well. Um, and you can mix and match, do whatever you like. But keep in mind, if you're bringing a mattress up here and you wall it off, you need a bed in a box because once that thing comes up here, it ain't going back down. So you need to keep that in mind as well, but we can definitely make that happen for you. And as well, we've got clerestory windows on each side, bringing the natural light. We've got TV jacks around and outlets. We added another mini split system up here that is the AC and heat all controlled by remote. So you have three total in this home. So you will be heated or cooled out of this unit. So it's perfect for anyone looking for that next retirement home, a secondary home, or just a getaway suite. So you guys, thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, 
Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to the videos. Remember to let me know how I'm doing and tune in next Tiny Home Tuesday. Y'all have a good one.